All right, what's up, everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Uh, today is lesson 12 of the Amazon affiliate course. So what we're going to be showing here is how to set up your product categories in WooCommerce and how to set up SEO-friendly uh, product categories so that you're getting as much traffic as possible to whatever your niche website is. So obviously, this is lesson 12. There's a lot of things we did before this step, but at this point, we have WooCommerce installed. We have everything ready to be set up so we want to start adding products to our website so then we can start adding some more content blog articles and things like that what I want to go over is how to set up your product categories properly um, if you go back and you remember we pulled a lot of the top keywords that we had um, it was in one of the earlier videos and we pulled our top 20 keywords about and that should help guide you uh, through some of your categories so it really depends on your niche so if you have the best way to kind of think about it is look at other websites that are going to be your competitors as you're setting up yours uh, things that are similar to yours if there's not anything out there then just focus on the keywords that people are typing in focus on the product categories that make the most sense for the products you're going to add uh, so in this case I have farmhouse goals so there's going to be a lot of product categories here because I want to have a huge farmhouse decor related website uh, so I just want to start with furniture um, so let's just say I have the broad category of furniture so here's how I break it down um, so I'd start by doing farmhouse furniture because my Website's going to be offering farmhouse furniture. I want to make sure I have the right keywords in there. So farmhouse furniture. So the slug is the URL that you're going to see up there. So for example, if you go to farmhousegoals.com slash blog, the slug would be the blog. So it's just the way that it's going to show on your website. So uh, we're not going to have a parent category here. Farmhouse furniture is going to be the parent category. And you definitely want to add a description. You definitely want to upload and add an image here. Um, I'm going to do these in, you know, later time because I don't want to sit here and kind of write out a ton of descriptions in front of you. I want to show you how to set up the category. So, you know, your description should kind of be SEO friendly. But what I do is I have Yoast installed on all these pages and I'll actually go back and uh, optimize them. And I'll show you that in a later video. So let's start by adding new category here. All right. So we have farmhouse furniture here and this is going to be our parent category. So we want to start by breaking farmhouse furniture down into different subcategories. So the best way to do that is to start with things like the different rooms in the house where the furniture would go. So in my case, it's farmhouse living room furniture, farmhouse bedroom furniture. Uh, you might have a farmhouse bathroom. I'm not sure if that really makes as much sense, but definitely living room, uh, bedroom, dining room furniture. Uh, so those are three ones that you definitely want to start with. And then the best way to do is just look at other websites and see, you know, how they break down things down. It doesn't even have to be farmhouse, just be a, a huge furniture store and see how they break things down. So what I'm going to do now is say farmhouse bedroom furniture. The slug usually goes automatically, but I like to type it anyway, just in case I want to make sure I have it properly. So here's where you want to make sure you set your parent category as farmhouse furniture. And we're going to add new category here. So we have that one. Now we're just going to add the other two I said before. So living. Okay, so now I have farmhouse living room furniture, farmhouse bedroom furniture. Obviously, we have our parent category up here. And last one is going to be farmhouse dining room furniture. So let's add that category there. And as things kind of come up, if I find other things that make sense, um, where I can definitely get more traffic, things like that, I'm going to keep adding them here. Uh, so farmhouse kitchen furniture. You don't really have a ton of furniture in your kitchen. It's kind of more your dining room. Um, maybe farmhouse bar furniture, things like that, um, just to see. Uh, for now, these are the three I really want to start with where I have products I know I want to add to them, and I want to keep breaking them down a little bit further. So I'm going to show you here farmhouse, actually, I'm going to do farmhouse living room furniture here. I'm going to do, um, I'm going to break this down into more subcategories and kind of show you how I keep doing that here. So just keep in mind I have farmhouse furniture, farmhouse dining room furniture. Obviously, my domain is farmhouse goals. You want to make sure that whatever your categories are, they make Whatever keywords you're trying to target that make the most sense, you want to target those the best as possible. So you want to really break these down into SEO friendly categories that, you know, when people are typing in farmhouse living room furniture, they're coming to my page, things like that. So let's keep breaking this down. So we're going to do, again, you want to do some keyword research here. This is where you go back to the keyword planner in Google. Um, I have plenty of tutorials of that on my channel. So just kind of go look for them and you'll, you'll definitely find them and those will be helpful. So we're going to break down farmhouse living room furniture for further. So let's do farmhouse sofas. Okay, so again, you want to go into the parent category here and make sure you update it. So we're doing farmhouse living room furniture. So we want to make sure we're adding it to that one. So let's add new category again. Okay, so now we have our parent category up here, farmhouse furniture. You have farmhouse dining room, living room, 
and bedroom. And then this subcategory here in living room, you see the two hyphens up here is farmhouse sofas. And you could also go up here and you can see it easier this way as well. So farmhouse furniture is the parent category and then you have a bunch of subcategories in here. Uh, so let's just keep adding some things here. So I'm going to do farmhouse sectionals. Okay, now the last one we're going to add here is farmhouse ottomans. I've added a bunch of categories. I'll go through them with you. Uh, let me just finish this here. I kind of fast forwarded through the video so you don't have to keep watching me add categories. I don't, I don't want this video to be about typing things in. Okay, so we'll just click on this to make it easier. So right now we have, let's just start up here in our, so this is our parent category, farmhouse furniture. These are the two subcategories to farmhouse furniture. And then under farmhouse living room furniture, we've broken it down into ottomans, console tables, end tables, living room sets, coffee tables, sectionals, and sofas. Um, so you can even break things down even further. So if I went, you know, coffee tables, a lot of people type in things like antique farmhouse coffee tables. So you can kind of keep breaking these things down as long as you have categories that make sense that people are typing in keywords where you can keep giving them, you know, the best possible content and products that they're looking for. So that's the whole point of the product categories. You don't want to start with something, you know, if I just left it wide open as farmhouse furniture, then people are typing in, you know, a farmhouse end tables for their living room. They're not going to be able to find it as easily, easily if everything is under one category. So that's the way you want to think about it. Every category that makes sense for your business, no matter what you're advertising. You know, you could be a website about the NFL, and you might break it down to categories like, you know, NFL news, NFL draft news, NFL fantasy news, NFL analytics. You know, all di all these different things. Whatever people are typing in, they're interested in. You want to break down your your product categories in that way, or even your post categories. So. This is kind of how we're going to set up our store. Uh, we're going to keep going through all these things here. The best way to do it is just to first, um, your parent category should be your top keywords, what people type in, what they look for, um, and the way you can break them down better. So for me, I have farmhouse furniture here. Another category I would add, so we're going to go back to none for parent category. Another category I would add is farmhouse wall decor. So we'll add the slug here, and just to show you one more example, so we just you keep wanting to break these things down again. You want to add descriptions. You want to make sure everything's optimized, and we go back in and do that. I actually go and optimize it and make sure that. So you see up here, uh, this is our Yoast SEO score and readability score. I make sure I have enough content in all of these things, and I make sure it's all SEO friendly. You know the meta description, the key, the target keyword that we have, and it really helps because it increases your Google rankings. You know I've done it with other websites, and you can just tell right after you do that that it increases your Google rankings because I went back and did it for one of them. So. Coming back into farmhouse wall decor here is our parent category. We're going to go farmhouse art. So now we have farmhouse art as another subcategory that we're going to make sure we put into wall decor. So add new category. So there you go. Now we've broken it down a little bit. So we have, let's see, if we just go into none, two major parent card categories right now, wall decor and furniture. And then we have them broken down by some of the different subcategories that make the most sense for them. I'm going to keep adding things in here. I'm probably going to end up with hundreds of categories, um, which, you know, it seems like a lot and it is, but that's kind of how you grow your website. You want to keep targeting all these different keywords because, again, we're targeting a niche. That's the whole point of this is we're targeting a niche market and we're trying to get as much traffic as we can to our website for the small amount of people that are, you know, looking at these things. I'm not trying to you know, rank for wall decor, because I know there's websites that are so established and bigger than mine that I'm never going to be able to rank, you know, as high as I can for that. So I break it down. I'm farmhouse wall decor, farmhouse art. So, you know, even if there's different competitors in my space, I can easily compete with them and make sure I get my page to the top of search engines and on Pinterest and things like that. So thanks for joining me today. If you have any questions about product categories, leave them in the comments. Um, hopefully this broke it down well enough for you. Now I'm going to keep going in, adding more and more product categories. I like to add products, uh, in the meantime as well. So it's a matter of preference for you, but thanks for joining us today and uh, appreciate all the support.